Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Nona Gaprindashvili and Alexander Blagidze. This game was played in Soviet Union in 1963. Nona Gaprindashvili had white pieces and she started with e4. Alexander Blagidze played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to c3, not knight to f3. There is a reason for this move. Knight to c3. Knight to c6, and now f4. Nona goes for Grand Prix attack. g6, the standard move. Bishop to b5, threatening bishop takes knight. Knight to d4. If bishop to g7, then white may capture the knight, doubling the pawns. So we have knight to d4, attacking the bishop. Bishop to c4. Bishop to g7. Knight from g to e2 e6, knight takes on d4, c takes on d4, attacking the knight, knight to e2, and now queen to h4, check. This is a very interesting moment of the game. Why to move? How would you continue? Would you play g3 or knight to g3? If you play knight to g3, what is defending the pawn on f4? Hmm? This is the position to remember. Nona Gaprindashvili played knight to g3, allowing queen takes pawn on f4. If g3, then queen may go to e7 or d8, and then after castling, white has weaknesses on light squares. White bishop then belongs to g2. Nona played knight to g3, sacrificing the pawn. Queen takes pawn on f4. d3, attacking the queen with the bishop. Queen to c7. Nona got in the Shvili castle kingside. Knight to e7. Black snatched the pawn. Intends to castle, develop pieces, and have a good game. Bishop to g5, temporarily preventing castling. After castling, bishop takes knight. Knight to c6, better was d6, defending the knight that way. In the game we have knight to c6, white to move. This is a very important position. This is a critical position of the game. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? If white continues in a standard way, say with queen to d2, then castling and black is okay after castling, even after bishop to h6. What is the move then? Nona Gaprindashvili played an incredible move. Knight to h5. Hmm? Black to move. Pawn takes knight. If black castles kingside, knight takes on g7. King takes knight. Bishop to f6. Check. King to g8. Queen to d2 followed by queen to h6, queen to g7 checkmate. So we have g takes on h5, white to move. What is the follow-up? What would you do in this position now if you had white pieces? Did you find? Would you play? Queen takes on h5. If you played this move, you would be on the wrong track. After knight to e5, defending the pawn, rook to f2, d6, rook from a to f1, a6, and black is doing well. So queen takes pawn is not a way to go. Nona, Gaprindashvili sacrificed the rook too. Rook takes on f7, queen to e5. If king takes rook, queen to h5 check, King to f8, rook to f1 check, king
king to g8, queen to f7 checkmate. Back to our game. So, not king takes rook, but queen to e5. White to move. White played the move and black resigned. The move is... Rook to f5. Black Alexander Blagidze resigned in view of this continuation. Pawn takes rook. Queen to h5 check. King to f8. Queen to f7. Check. Mate. Dangerous white queen and a powerful bishop pair decided the game. Black is two pieces up, but it's not helping, is it? What a powerful attack. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.